I found out that Dorian rented out Capricorn to do this whole romantic evening thing with Clint. So I set up Vicki Davidson to go there instead. Um, and I locked Dorian in the closet and I just let her out and she's probably rushing over there right now. So it wasn't part of the plan to keep her in the closet all night? No. I wanted her to walk in and see Vicki and Clint together. That's the only reason you let her out? Well, I should have left her in there for days, like she had Bruce do to me. She didn't exactly have him do that. Well, but it happened anyway. And now she knows what it's like to have somebody mess with her love life. I, uh, wasn't this a little extreme, though? Excuse me? Rex, that creep tried to drown you, and he tried to kill you when you found me. But that was Bruce Bartlett, not Dorian. Same thing. This was an absolutely excellent idea, staying for dinner. Mm -hmm. Really? And the food is delicious. <laughs> you know, life has been so crazy at home recently. And now we've got Jesse's wedding coming up so quickly. My to-do lists have to-do lists. Oh. <laughs> I wish you'd let me help you with some of that. Oh, you're helping, big time. You're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that you don't trust my taste in floral arrangements? Which part of no did you not understand? <laughs> Vicky, mm -hmm. you're a wise woman. Yeah, well, don't feel so wise all the time. Join the club. I must tell you this, and I'm I'm so sincere. I am so grateful and happy that you decided to stay in Lampview. I think it's very good for the children to have both parents on the same continent for a while. Yeah. Well, I couldn't leave Natalie with. You know. Her losing John and all that Jesse has been through. Kelly's baby's on the way. And, of course, there was Dorian. There is no Dorian. So, here's to dodging that bullet. I'll drink to that. Of course, I'm going to wish that it's me and Tess getting married. But it's not, and there's nothing I can do about that. Do you mean that? Tess isn't coming back. Don't like it. Can't change it. Got to accept it. So don't worry, I'm not going to make a fool out of both of us or embarrass us. I have got too much to lose. So, it's a good idea that you come to the wedding. I mean, like Antonio said, it, for Brie. So she'll know that you're okay with Antonio and I getting married. Okay, I'll come to the wedding. Okay, good. Antonio will be glad. Just don't bail on me and leave me stuck with the tux bill, all right? Well, same goes for you. Ooh, wait, I get to wear a tux. Yes, you're gonna look hot. I hate Antonio, but after today... Yeah, yes, he's wonderful, isn't he? Most people think that he's just a tough guy, but he's the most kind, truly wonderful man I've ever met. And I know a lot of them. You really love the dude. Well, I hope so. I'm gonna marry him. You're lucky to have him. I am. Just like Tess was lucky to have you. Rex thinks he might be close to nailing Vincent for the fix. Then we can clear your name. Even if I can't fight again? No fighting. No, not with this hand. Or a painting, which means I'm, I'm out of a job either way. Something's going to come your way, Chris. Something that's going to make you so happy. Something already has. Listen, what do you say we forget dinner? Go home. Let me return the paper. Are you going to throw me over your shoulder again? Whatever turns you off. <laughs> I'm not worried. That your fiancé is alone with the father of her child? Claudia, we're trying to work it out with Nash. Are you sure about that? Yeah, he promised. Get it together and stay sober. And you believed him? Yeah. Yeah, I do believe him. Otherwise, I wouldn't have asked him to be my groomsman. Are you 
Are you kidding yeah, me? What? He, he thought it was weird too, but then he rethought it. Wait, uh, so Nash is going to be in your bridal party? Yeah, it looks that way. Why would he do that? Well, because I, you know, I told him it was important, Brie. Uh, and it was important for her to know, and and uh, I think it's more than that. I think he wants to get past past it and uh, and on with his life. He he said that. Claudia, look, I I don't mean to sound harsh or anything, but you know him saying that he wants to move on with his life. Uh, I, I I don't think it means he wants to get back with you. Here you go, detective. Hey, uh, look, can you uh, can you be a Capricorn for your set of ten? Good. I'll, uh, I'll see you then. There you go. Can I get you something? Vodka, rocks, and make it the good stuff. The issue of Dr. Truman's parentage never came up when Miss Buchanan visited him, and he vehemently denied ever having abandoned Dr. Truman's mother. But how did he explain it? Made it sound as though they broke up and went their separate ways, though he did make one surprising revelation. What was it? That this woman, Emma Bradley, was one of the great loves of his life. He said that? Not only that, he stared at her photograph all the way home in the car. He has a photograph of her? Yes. David Vickers claims his brother broke into the lodge on New Year's Eve and left it there. All right. Hey, thanks, Nigel. And uh, when you go back upstairs with Pa, don't mention any of this to him, okay? Just tell him that uh, Spencer Truman was held over for a trial, all right? Very good, sir. New Year's Eve. You know, that's the night that Pa collapsed. And that's the same night you got that virus. Yeah, that Truman gave me. And the guy's got it in for us, you could say that much. I mean, it makes you wonder if this whole story's really true. Uh, well, we'll find out. we got to talk to Pa about this, but I think we should wait until Clint gets back. I just can't believe what he's done to all of you. What, you too? I mean, why should I be surprised? Just when I think I've seen it all from him, he comes up with something else. Each thing worse than the last. Haven't you learned, Manning, by now that nothing, nothing you could possibly say or do matters to me, not in the least? Hmm. Everybody's got a weak spot, Spencer. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hire somebody to come in here and beat you up. I got a better idea. Why don't you just wait till I get out of here? Then you can try to do it yourself. That sounds wonderful. But right now, I'm more interested in finding my kid. I can't help you. Then I sure hope God helps you. Because you're not getting out of this, Spencer. And even if you do somehow manage to walk away, I'll kill you. And if he doesn't, I will. On the next One Life to Live. Can I ask you something? Sure. I need you to take over prosecuting his case. Do you think I was trying to stick it to Nash when I asked him to be in my wedding? Find something else to do the day I marry Nash. Antonio. I meant Antonio.